Hey guys, Nigma Coin Collector here, and I'm back with another video from eBay. That's right, I went on eBay, found some listings, looked for the best ones, and I found this one. $40 for a grab bag of coins, silver proof, brilliant uncirculated included, number one on eBay. So we're going to get 20 choice coins from this seller for $40. Now they make lots of different claims. These are all the facts that they provide for us, but I thought it was interesting that we guarantee each lot has a value at least $55 to $75, and then worth at least $55. So it's a little bit interesting how they describe this, but it seems pretty interesting. I thought it would be kind of fun to grab it and see what it would be like, and it came, and it's here for us to open. It has not been opened at all. You can hear the coins in there. So this is the package as I received it. What I thought we would do is we would go ahead and open this. I'll show you the coins as they come out, and then I'll take some time to research what their value is, and then come back with a recap to see if we made our $40 back or if we're up or below that. So what I thought we would do is we would go ahead and open this package. I'll show you the coins as they come out. And after I do that, I'll take some time to research what their prices are and see if we made some, lost some, or broke even on this package. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here's what we had inside that bag. I think it's interesting that the listing says 20 choice coins and we've got 28. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there, but we got eight extra coins, which is nice. But overall, I'm not sure that we made our money back. We do have one V nickel. We've got a Buffalo nickel. We've got a 51 Jefferson, the four Merc dimes. We've got the Walking Liberty. 10 wheat cents, and then these flipped coins. Some of them are 
interesting. Some of them really aren't. Most of the value from this bag is going to come from this Walking Liberty half dollar. We did have that 1923 Mercury dime, which is cool. Vehicles are always cool. I enjoy those. No mint mark on it or the Buffalo. Had a lot of S mint marks in the wheat pennies. Best value is probably going to be this 1925 S. And then we had a few proof quarters, which is nice. Here's the silver coin. Of course, it's a dime. Uh, proof nickel, a 59 penny, a 53 wheat penny, a 2005, and a 97. But again, I'm not really sure I understand why some of these are in flips. Uh, the half dollar, there's nothing really significant about it. I mean, it's nice, but not really sure. So let's go ahead and I will get my value guide that I created with all the coins and the condition that I graded them on, and we'll see where we come out out in the end. All right, so I went through and evaluated each coin and gave it a value. Now this is to the value to the what the Red Book has listed. That's retail value. It's very uncommon that you're gonna get this value when you go to sell it, so these are a little inflated, but here's where we're at. The best wheat penny we had was that 1925S, gave it a VG8, $1.50. The rest of the wheat cents, there's nothing really that stands out. That 1940S, it's got a lot of nice detail. I gave it a VF20, 50 cents, but the rest are all pretty lackluster in terms of value. That 1902 Liberty nickel, it's pretty slick. There's no Liberty there. It's pretty worn. G4, at best, $2 nickel. That Buffalo nickel has a little bit more detail. It's got a date. Uh, I'm giving it a VG8, $1.75. Jefferson Nickel, again, not that hard to find these when you coin roll hunt. Maybe 10 cents. And then we're moving on. The best Mercury Dime we had was that 1923. It's a $3 Mercury Dime, I'd say, in G4. Uh, we had a really nice one, Mercury Dime, a 42. I gave it EF40 because there's a lot of nice detail in it. Let me see if I can find it. course I can't find it right now. Here it is. It's a lot of nice detail, especially on the back. You can see the bands. So gave that an EF40 and we are going to go on from there. Uh, there are the Mercury Dimes, a couple bucks a piece for all of them. And then like I said, most of the value is going to come from this Walking Liberty half dollar, 1946. No mint mark on the back. Gave it a VF12 based off the detail on the back. That's an $11 coin. So after that, we're going to come through to the coins that were flipped, I believe. Yep, there's the line that I gave it. That 53 wheat penny, it's really nice. 50 cent in MS63. The 59 penny, it's pretty flawless. I can't really find anything wrong with it on there. I gave it a little bit of a higher grade, a 30 cent penny. The 87 Jefferson Nickel Proof, it's, again, a nice coin. Proof, $3. The 05, and again, it's a nice coin, a little bit of a gold hue there. 20 cent nickel. The Silver Rosie Dime, $2. The 69 George Washington Proof Quarter, now this is probably the best coin I have in terms of detail. It's pretty, pretty clean. Nothing really wrong with it at all. Um, I believe it is a clad based off of the weight. Now I have it in a flip. I haven't taken it out yet, but I don't think it's silver. I believe it is just a clad proof. So we're going to go with $5. The 97 quarter, again, it's a nice quarter, but it's just a 97, 50 cents. Connecticut Proof Quarter. It's, again, a nice-looking quarter. There's nothing wrong with it, but max value is probably going to be about $7. And then the Kennedy Half Dollar. Nice coin. Nothing special about it. $2. So how do we end up? Total value, $48.50. We paid $40 bucks for this, so if you're going by the Red Book, we did make... $8.50, but as far as the listing saying $55 to $75, I don't really think that's very true. Now, I'm not a professional when it comes to grading coins. 
So there might be some debate as to if I'm grading these correctly. In some cases I might be grading them a little high, in that case the value is even more inflated. So best case scenario, I think we might have broke even. We definitely did not make anything, and I think the seller is a little bit inflating this $55 to $75 price range for the value of the coin bag. But if you're looking for something fun to do, it is interesting to do, buy them off eBay, see what you get. Maybe you will get uh, a really cool coin that you don't have or something that's really valuable. So if you're doing it for that, then it's worth it. But if you're doing it to make money, there's no way you're gonna make your money back on this. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, click subscribe. And remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open that bag and see what's inside. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.